Yo, so today I'm back to cover another one of these mama's boys because this show is just too interesting not to watch. The fact that there's grown men out there that allow their own mothers to run their lives is just insane to me. It's basically like these guys on this show, I Love a Mama's Boy, are actually in a relationship with their mothers and that relationship comes before their relationship with their actual girlfriends. This is a major failure to launch situation. It's time for the birdie to leave the nest. Please get off that breast milk diet. Diet son, it's time for a fresh pair. Preferably something that wasn't shaken around in the 70s. And pretty much everything about our relationship is perfect, except for one thing. His mom. But are these guys really to blame? I personally think so, but some suggest it's actually a case of covert incest, which is a type of abuse in which a parent looks to their child for the emotional support that would be normally provided by another adult. The effects of covert incest on children when they become adults are thought to mimic actual incest. So basically this relying on a child for emotional support has some effects on people long into their adulthood. A lot of reasons people are who they are as adults are direct results of what happens in their childhood, so I definitely believe this could be the case in many of these relationships. Still, I don't think this is an excuse. Grow some balls and tell your mom to butt out of your relationships. Or you're just gonna end up alone when she dies. And like I said last time, this guy Mike and his mom have a very interesting relationship to say the least. His mom Liz is 50 and she totally acts like she's into him in a very weird way. She's kind of all up on his peen. My friends see pictures of Michael and they're like drooling, you know? This guy's actually a model, and don't get me wrong, he's handsome, but damn did they photoshop the fuck out of him. This dude went from Jewish to Mexican. He works so hard to make himself look this good, so, you know, why not? I don't mind sharing it. I don't mind sharing it? I mean, what the fuck, lady? The look on his face says it all. Like, mom, don't blow our big secret. If I was him, I would sign the old broad up for eHarmony or possibly Christian Mingle and just get her the fuck out of your relationship, dude. This stuff is cringy. This stuff is creepy. He's dating this chick, Sasha. She looks like the cute girl who works at the hookah lounge that you might see at the gym. And she talks about how she goes to sleep to the sound of him talking to his mother on the phone every night. And I get to wake up every morning to the sound of Mike's mom calling. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, every morning. But this really takes the cake for the ultimate mother-loving simp award when he brings his girlfriend out to buy jewelry for her birthday where he promised to buy her whatever she wanted. And look, in my opinion, if you offer that to someone, you better be prepared to pay for whatever. No one likes the dude who says he'll pay for dinner, don't worry, I got this, and then he says not to order something expensive. Look, all I'm saying is don't offer if you're gonna be a tight ass. No one likes that shit. And of course they have to bring the mom with them who's turning green with jealousy by the second. Those are a thousand instead of twelve fifty. Oh, okay. Ooh. Makes it a little bit easier. Cool. Yeah, it's not that bad. That's a little high, you might want a budget. Quite frankly, what a bitch. I'm not saying he should just blow money he doesn't have, but if he does have it, why not let it fly every once in a while? And if you don't have it, and you don't have the balls to tell your girlfriend that you don't have $1,000 to blow on a birthday gift, then he kinda just a spineless pussboy. And I do think he has the money, he's out here modeling on basketball courts and shit. He honestly only seems hesitant because Mama Bear is around. And I don't even believe it was about the money for her for a second. She's just jealous, just straight up. And she actually completely changes his mind. So then he comes back to tell the GF that she's only spending 200 bucks. That's like telling me you're gonna take me to Disney World and then we pull up on the parking lot carnival. There's some pretty bangles over here. I think I saw like three, four hundred dollar range. It's not about the price tag, it's about picking my favorite thing for my birthday. Could the mom be any more of a classic schoolyard bitch? This woman is a savage, and the whole situation is just so awkward. And then to top it off, the fucking idiot of a dude tells his mom he's gonna buy her a gift now, on the girlfriend's birthday. And she ends up spending almost the exact same as the girl, if not a little bit more. It's a little expensive. Actually, that is beautiful. The whole time looking in her face as to assert her dominance and basically say, bitch I win. I'm starting to think this guy just has the girlfriend for show so people don't start to become suspicious of him and the mom. Now this is some weirdo shit. Time to get off the internet for the day. So I'm always gonna make sure you got the best stuff on. Always. Wow.